This reading is for Taurus for the first two weeks of March. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. So Taurus, this is the third time I've had to restart because the energy seems stuck or stalled and I did not like the flow. I did not like the flow. I feel a burden. I feel increased responsibilities. I feel uh, responsibilities, responsibilities. So the first two weeks seem like a time that the Taurus will need to take on additional responsibilities and or take responsibilities for their actions. Uh, the Taurus may be feeling disappointed with themselves or disappointed with others uh, and also disappointed with some information or news that they are receiving about their job employment situation or about someone they are close to in a partnership. This can also be a family member. This can also be someone close to them in their family, disappointing them. And the Taurus seems quite angry and disappointed about this and like they want to retaliate. They're looking for a type of retaliation. They may have already retaliated and now feel uh, wrong about the actions that they've taken or even the words that they have spoken. They feel like it has done uh, too much damage. Too much damage. Again, this is for the first two weeks of March for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You can also look at your Venus placements and if you have uh, a lot of Taurus energy in your natal chart, this reading would apply to you as well. There is some background information that the Taurus energy is missing, but it does not feel like the information that is being concealed from the Taurus is more information that they have overlooked or they have also ignored. Now, either this information is coming back now to bite the Taurus, or it could be that the, that the Taurus has the opportunity to pursue this, but they have to actively pursue this uh, information or research. Uh, it feels like the Taurus may not be motivated for this, and not to say that Taurus are lazy, but they're just not in the mood to do the work. It's like they know this is looming, something is looming there, but they are just not motivated or they are not enthusiastic or they feel that they do not have the energy to pursue this information. Or they don't want to hear. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to acknowledge it. It feels like a type of denial for the Taurus for the first two weeks of March. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what else is coming out of this. In general, it looks like a very positive time for Taurus, but it's like the Taurus, the, the Taurus needs to focus. It feels like quite a bit of scattered energy. It looks like quite a bit of scattered energy and it looks like divergent loyalty, like there's an issue of some kind with loyalty or with vows or with promises, even with promises, um, broken promises. Either the Taurus is breaking a promise or someone is breaking a promise uh, towards the Taurus. It seems more to have something to do with work than in private relationships. The Taurus could have been promised a promotion and the promotion or this, this excellence in the job or acceleration in the job, a movement in position 
uh, somehow an advancement in the job might be delayed, might be delayed, but the tourists will still get it, but they may have heard news of a delay with this, a delay. But, but it looks like the tourists will still achieve this. It, there would just be a slight delay in the de deliverance, the deliverance of this. It also, it also still seems to be this energy for Taurians, for Taurus or Taurian energy elemental sign is still dealing with some level of temptation. This seems to be more personal. Something is enticing the Taurus. Now, it does not necessarily have to be a person. It can also be an idea of something or the appearance of something. How something looks, how someone looks. The Taurus has their eye fixed and their energy fixed on this. But there seems to be a conflict like the Taurus is not really available or the person is not really available right now. This can also change. There might be a delay in this relationship coming together in the way that the Taurus would like to see it happen. Or it can be a delay also on the work front of a project or promotion coming together in the way that the Taurus idealized it or how they, they how they the vision of it is not quite there yet so let's see if we can find out, finally get a confirmation on the energy Taurus again it looks like for a professional standpoint, there might be some finagling or some movement or some maneuvering that the Taurus is not pleased or happy with. But it looks like over the long term and in the immediate term, it will be better not to react and speak out uh, out of anger or out of impulse because the situation will work itself out, especially if there were promises for promotion that have been put on delay. Try, delay, try to be patient. You can still ask for clarifications on the matter, but try not to say anything or do anything that you will regret, regret later. There might be some regret later if the Taurus is making assumptions about a loss or about a disappointment. Try to clarify the information before you react or delay reacting to it right now. This is what the energy looks like for the next two weeks, for the first two weeks of March for Taurus. And we will finally pull one of the good tarot. This is the two of coins, the two of earth. And again, it feels like an offer and that there may be initially some disappointment with the offer. Uh, and the Taurus feeling like they were tricked and they were promised, whoa, promised something that they haven't received yet. Uh, but it seems to me like whatever the delay is, it will be broken. You will get what you were promised. Uh, if this has, if this pertains to work, if this pertains more to a relationship, try to make sure you have all the information before you make assumptions and react about anything that you are being told. Uh, and to react more from logic then from emotion. That's what I have for Taurus for the first two weeks of March. Thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week or the week after.